everyone. So this is the perfect location for you to stretch your hamstring and everything that you want to like open this hips and groins. I think that this could be a really nice place to do that. So if it's possible, bring one leg on the top of the roof and then bring the left leg and the left foot grounding on the floor. If it's maybe too much, you can maybe um, bend this knee and just stay here. It still does the work. Okay, so we either here or that bending back and then maybe try to go forward a little bit, bringing this belly and the chest ah, into your leg. So both meeting each other and you start to uh, feel the stretch in the hamstrings, the back of your thigh, and it's okay, you can bend a little bit or maybe even whatever is there, hold, catch and fold. This is really nice stretch. Breathe into the thigh, into the stretch, into the effort. When it's enough, slowly come back. Don't rush. Just bring the foot on the floor and then switch sides. This is again our space to work with, to stretch the back. Oh, this vertebra is that really crunched every day. You can do it here. So you're bringing the feet hips distance apart and then see if you can reach away and hold something over here and then slowly come with your hips backwards and releasing the head down in between your hands if it's enough stay there maybe you can go even deeper and then like sinking with the chest lower than your shoulders and see if you can really hide yourself down away from your arms it's a really nice stretch in between your shoulder blades bringing the hips and thighs away from your head stay here as long as you want and stretch and feel and breathe once it's enough come back with the rounded back come back to standing feel it how nice it is and maybe repeat please find this uh, location on your boat and then let's start you can come either to down facing dog like right here or start from your knees on the floor and then releasing the forearms and the elbows into the ground into your yoga mat and then slightly coming to downward facing dog on your forearms so it's like a variation of a pincha yeah it's a name in sanskrit but we just hold here do not release your head to the floor. If you're not holding into something like me, just spread the fingers away and stay with your elbows on the floor. If it's enough, bring the knees back to the floor and come back for breathing. And then we'll do another variation of this kind of pincher, but this time step back with the left foot and then the right foot and hold. Make sure you don't sink down with your pelvis, but bringing the belly into your back and then rounding a little bit so that the pelvis and the shoulders are the same height. Belly sucked in, chest open, look forward. You can either close your eyes or look away. Breathe deeply when it's enough. Knees on the floor and then come back to child pose, bringing the sitting bones away, back into the heels, releasing the forehead on the floor. And then repeat maybe five, maybe 10 times, depends on you. And thank you for watching.